For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Beautiful and true words that have attracted people everywhere since the Lord spoke them. But then there's an obvious question. How do we do the will of the Father? How do we know what that is in concrete, everyday situations? Starting in the first place, how do I stop doing what is clearly not the will of the Father, for example, committing sin? How then do I choose to do the good and then actually to do it? But then the Lord takes this other big step doing the will of the Father. That would be much more than just trying to be a good boy or a good girl. St. Luke, in his version of this teaching, unpacks this as a bit more for us. When he says, Blessed are they who hear the word of God and put it into practice. We are really entering into the heart of the gospel. How to do it? How to do this? Some might rashly think these texts seem to sideline the mother of Jesus. But on the contrary, right from the start of Christ's life, we hear how she is the one who listens and ponders the will of God. From the beginning, the church has appreciated that she so faithfully heard the word. She so faithfully heard the word that she could receive him and give birth to him. The word became flesh in her through her yes. What she profoundly wants to do is to help us to do the same. This starts with attention to God all around us, in others, longing to see Christ in others, in love and beauty and truth. To do that, we need to cultivate a listening heart. To cultivate a listening heart. Yet in our noisy world, that seems so hard. Really, it seems to be countercultural to live with a heart open. So open to be open to the Lord. So, our Mother Mary gives us this. Think of prayer of the rosary as a quiet place of encounter, a meeting space where we can listen, a time for pondering, a space for learning to listen to God. Of course, we have many intentions as that we pray for as we pray the rosary, but going deeper in faithfulness to prayer every day. Let us, let Mother Mary lead us into deeper love, into this attentiveness to Christ (coughs) in us and around us, always guiding us. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven, is my brother and sister and mother.